rephrase that. Um, on my, my motto in life is that the music is the vehicle that carries the story. That's my personal motto. I hope to think I coined it and made it up. So when, as a musical director, if I'm using the music as the vehicle for the story, it's the molding and the, the, the joining of the story, be it with um, underscoring or taking the lyrics that are with the music and the vocals. So it's as if you're speaking it without any music. It is literally all one and encompassing. So it's part of the script. It is the script. It's the story. It's the story. It's the story. And the music is for what purpose? Music is what feelings sound like. Uh, my sister gave me a poster uh, a couple of years ago. I thought, wait a minute. It is. It, it can elicit a response so much faster than just visual or oral um, with just the words. The music is just like it helps. I can write something of five seconds and I can get you in a mood. Five seconds of music, no matter what it is. Maybe ten, but a lot of times just five can put you in a particular space or mood. So the music right. is the vehicle that goes, okay, what are we feeling now? Upbeat tune, a uh, pitter better song, you know, are we going to listen with our ears and you know, hear the cleverness of the words? It right. really does carry everything along. What Sherry's doing and what Mikey's doing and what you're doing, how does it blend into one thing? And Do you cooperate? Do you collaborate in that? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. Again, I, I'm in the vehicle that carries the story. It's just like when I work with my singers after teaching the pitches, which is just rudimentary, then I work with them and say, what is the operating word in the phrase? What's the operating syllable in the word? A word? What do you want to pop out? As that says, and then listening to what the choreography needs, I worship choreographers. They have it has to be at the tempo that their dancers look good at. Right. You know, I, I you know I don't have that. It's got to be this way because that's what the metronome says. You know, it's what it is. So, and also dramatically with with the with the stage director, how is the music helping to move that plot along and the singing voice with what she or he wants to to, to see or hear? Last right. night, um, you know, Jean mentioned that this song is too slow because the previous song was a ballad. Let's move this to a different tempo. It will pop the song. Pop mean, you know, move, you know, keep engaging the audience. Um, and can you do that? Sure. Oh yeah, it's just, you, you're the vehicle. And I say this when I teach musical theater, or even not even when I'm working with the, the singers. I'm the horse, and, they're, and they get on the saddle, and they can pull me down, slow me back, whatever. I lean to the left, lean to the right. That's how I, I enjoy or perceive my job that I would like to, to do as a musical director, conductor, or pianist. As right. a pianist and accompanist, I don't look at the singers. I'm looking at my music. I can tell if they're good singers or not. If I'll say, excuse me, I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> no idea. Because you just, I just tuned you out because of what you're not, you're not giving me the words, you're not giving me the story. Right. And that's, I, yeah, I noticed when you were rehearsing, um, how you would get up from the piano and stand in front of them and gesticulate and stamp your feet and I, 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 I because you obviously feel it I feel it you know and I'm thinking they're asleep or, or they're or they're not aware of what level or you know like pump it up as people say it's just part of it is to wake them up you know it's been a long day and go hey you can really feel this you don't have to think about this you can just you can just feel it in your whole body and that's how I I feel it you know that's how I um, so you're trying to get across your. I'm not even. I'm not even consciously doing that. I'm not saying, okay, now I'm going to stand up and do this. No. I just like. I, I don't think my body just. I just. I just. I just find go. Oh, I'm standing now. You know, sometimes. Oh, I'm standing on a bench now. How did it get there? It's just that I just forget who right. I am and what I'm doing and just figure out. Okay, let's. You'll, you'll learn this faster if we do it in this way. And if you physically tactile learn something, right. it stays in their body. They wake up. They have a good time. You wake them up. You know, like hello, how are you? And you look in someone's eyes. Most right. people don't look in people's eyes when they say hello, how are you? But you're just hello, how are you? Let's really do this music. Let, let me believe in what you're, what these people are creating. Right. So I've learned. Um, I I've done about seven years of working with developmentally disabled adults. Um, uh -huh. Down syndrome, people with cerebral palsy, people with brain injuries, you know, people between the ages of 19 and 50. And a lot of them, they don't, I do the musical theater class and um, work, you know, five, you know, 20 hours a week. And I notice the genuine spontane spontaneity with these people. There's no, there's no guile, there's not like, oh, I'm a dork, or, you know, there's, there's not a, and so you get to be who you are. 
and you get to see and figure out how to, number one, teach them how to sing in tune, but to feel the music. And I find that physical, and you would sing in the air, hmm, and they go, hmm, and they finally hear the vibration of two right. voices syncing, syncing up together. I'm working with with them and with children all my life with musical theater and stuff that it's the wild abandonment where you, you don't you just don't you throw off your, your conductor's outfit right. or your on the musical director outfit and just like really do what what's the beauty of the art and why we're doing it and what's right. the purpose you know music carries the vehicle of the story is music what feelings sound like you know are we living life and our eyes are open that's why I get up all the time from the piano and I'm just like wake up let's have fun and let's see what's really happening in the woods. All right. There seems to have been a resurgence in more theatres doing musical theatre. Is it because the... Well, I don't know. Why do you think that is? Oh, I... I have I, I, my... I probably... You know, the yeoman's or layman's opinions, too. I mean, I, yeah, I don't watch television, for. Yeah, but I know that the high school musical shows or the shows that are on television are promoting musicals and uh, find a star songs and star search and all of this stuff is focusing on the people. My gut is because with all this techno and technology and music's all about computers and laying, you know, other sounds and other sounds and other sounds that the musician or the live person is really becoming disembodied from what we're always listening to, that techno stuff on in movies, you know, you do a loop, it's the exact same beat for 20, 20 measures or Two minutes or ten minutes. And you minutes. write film scores, don't you? I do, yeah, I do some some uh, underscoring, but I do it, I love doing it more with with the play, so it's to the exact second and exact moment of, of what it is. I don't like doing loops of like drum tracks. I, I find that like, I can't, I just don't enjoy myself when I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. So getting back to that, each person can sing, because if you listen to pop music or whatever music that's on now, you really can't go home and say, I can play this on the piano and sing with myself can't do it without the electronic. You can't do it without that that, elect that computer in between. It's not real. It's not a real instrument. We, um, we need electricity. And I'll just give an antidote with that. You know, we, we were doing one Miserable at Santa Rosa. And I saw with the high, the college kids, the resurgence of ukuleles. I go, what is what? Well, the ukuleles. See, these little girls are singing, you know, two or three point car, you know, chorus, and you're just like playing their evil ukuleles. I thought, this is fantastic. It's like the research of the 60s in the sense right. that, right. isn't that great? You know, it's one of the leads of the, of the opera, and she's got a beautiful voice, and she's playing this evil lady, you know, in Hobby. I said, isn't it great is that it you can... the old shivers up the back of the night? Well, it was like, it was an aha. It's like, like, it was out of joy, I could say, yeah, you can accompany yourself, and if the electricity goes out, it won't <laughs> matter. You know, it's like, it's getting back to, um, we can do it. We can leave the building singing a song and find someone to play the piano or somebody you'd actually come for yourself and guitar. Right. You don't need all these things the electronics are having you sure. believe you need. What do you hope that, if you like, your pupils, the cast, um, get from you that they'll take on wherever they go? I, what do you hope they'll I take? Hope, I, 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 I wouldn't presume that I would impart anything. Like, uh, every, everybody, like you know what I mean? It's like, whoa, that's kind of conceited. But, well, but, but, uh, but um, not really. Um, it's not a conceit. It's when uh, all of us, when we're in life, we hope that in some way we will put a spark in somebody else. It doesn't have to be everybody that you meet or everybody you interact with, but you put a spark in somebody that they'll carry on. And impart to somebody else, and carry on impart. This. It's how we make our mark, okay. if you like, our okay. footprint okay. in the world. What would you like them to take away from working with you? I've never thought about something like that. Um, the joy in the moment, just the joy in the moment, oh. and the laughing at the given moment, just. Just the joy in the moment. I know we had a uh, rehearsal with, with the, uh, um, the the fit band last Saturday morning. We invited Denise, who's the lead, uh, and get you guys to to come and sing with us, even though it's our first rehearsal. So they can hear it and she can relax and have fun. And 
And she realized in the joy of the moment, I was dancing around, oh, you can do it any way you want. I'm following you, I'm not even looking at you. And, and just being silly up there, and I, I get the, I hire people that like to work with me, because we all just kind of like, mm, okay, and we laugh, and we have a good time. And she giggled, and she, was, and she was so happy. And she realized she could own the song and sing it like Annie. And I'm there, and the whole orchestra is there with her. And she, she said, oh, I'm so happy. Or something like that. And that she just was filled with joy in the moment. Right. And I think just to be awake and, and to be filled with joy in the moment for creating the gestalt. Right. Yeah. Janice, thank you. You're welcome.